Okay, back with a, with a slightly less complicated picture. So, the first exercise in the book says to show that triangle ABC is similar to a, triangle AFE here, is similar to triangle BFD here, is similar to triangle CDF, or sorry, CDE. CDE here. And I'm, uh, I'm sure there's a, there's a good geometric proof about this, but I, I wanted to show, actually just calculate the sides of these triangles because it's not actually that hard. And we'll do, we'll look at triangle, and I'll draw it in orange to highlight it. We'll look at triangle ADC here. ADC. So AC has length B. This has length H, and then CD, which is the length of the side of the triangle that we're looking for. Well, you notice it's sine C, sine C equals X over B, because this is a right angle. Uh, sorry, sine C equals H over B, opposite over hypotenuse and cosine C equals X over B. So that's X is the side of one of the sides of the triangle that we're looking for. So, so we learned that X equals B cosine C. And similarly, if we look at triangle B E C, B E C, we'll learn, if I call this X, I'll call this Y. If, so if we look at triangle BCE, we'll learn that Y equals by the exact same argument, Y equals A, this side, cosine C. Similarly, if I call, I'm running out of letters now, let's just call this X prime. Now we're going to look at the triangle BDA. We'll see that X prime is angle B, sorry, is, is this side C cosine B. And this side here, which we're going to get out of the triangle BE, oh, sorry, BFC, BFC, I think it might be a little hard to see that B. We're going to get out of the triangle B, <laughs> BFC is going to be A cosine B. So I have a bunch of, I have a bunch of triangles here. This is uh, B cosine C. This is A cosine C. So I have, in, in relation to the big triangle ABC, I have the same internal angle and sides that are in proportion. And that tells me that this side here is actually equal to C cosine C. Similarly, I have this, in the triangle BFD, I have the same angle as in sides BAC and sides A and C that are in proportion, with the proportion being cosine B, so that this side here is actually just equal to B cosine B. So we've just learned what the sides of the orthic triangle are. The orthic triangle D F E has sides C cosine C, B cosine B, and A cosine A. Well, isn't that fascinating? The sides, the sides of the orthic triangle are shrunk from the length, side lengths of the big triangle by a factor of cosine of each one of the angles. That, now, that means this triangle is not similar to the overall triangle but it does tell you that the sides are actually very easy to calculate. So that's fact number one that, that you, know, you just stumble across as you're playing with the orthic triangle. So 
what can we say about, oh, uh, let's do the circumradius, and I'll leave the in radius for you, because actually the circumradius is quite a, quite a surprise. Uh, okay, so, if you'll remember that this angle alpha, alpha, was, well, sorry, this, so this is 2 alpha, and alpha equals 90 degrees minus A. So alpha equals 180 minus 2A. Well, you remember from the first lecture that we did, I have to erase this, give myself a little room to write, sorry about that, that alpha over sine, in any triangle, A over sine A equals uh, 2 times the radius of the circumscribed triangle. So now I have this side A, A, which is big A cosine A, over sine of the, the angle below, which is sine of 180 minus 2A, equals 2R, 2 times the radius of the circumscribed circle. Well, this is the same as A cosine A over sine 2A, if you remember your geometry or trig identities, which is the same as A cosine A over 2 sine A cosine A, which equals A over 2 sine A. And that's 2 times the radius of the circumscribed circle of the ortho, orthic circle. But this looks like a lot like A over sine A from the big triangle. A over sine, sorry, A over sine A from the big triangle. And so we just learned that the circumradius of the orthic triangle of the orthic triangle equals one half the circumradius of the big triangle. So again, a little fascinating thing. So you just make this, you just draw your altitudes, connect the dots, and you form a triangle whose circumradius is half of the circumradius of the original triangle. And it's just a fairly simple calculation. I mean, I hope, I hope walking through this on the board didn't make it seem too complicated, because this is really not that difficult. It's a surprising thing. So we calculated the sides, we calculated the circumradius. I'll leave it for you to calculate the in radius if you want. It's not it's not that difficult. Nice little formula there too. So fun little fun little triangle. Nice uh, just nice little thing you probably didn't know about triangles. Okay, thanks for watching.